Yo, 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 what's going on, you guys? Your boy Devon Terrell, the living weirdo. And today, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get a wider, thicker vocal with a super simple technique that you don't even need plugins to do. You heard me right. You don't even need plugins to do this, this technique. And you can literally do it within three minutes. Let's get right to it and I'll show you what it is. Okay, so this song right here is called Thank You Next. It's actually a remix that I did with a friend of mine named Hi Rez, dope rapper. Check him out. And um, I'm going to show you the technique that I did to make my vocals wider and thicker, super simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you the song. Now, when I play you the song, listen to the vocal, I'm going to keep popping the effect in and out as the vocal goes. And I want you to pay attention to the M. You see the M, the mute, obviously, this right here. Pay attention to me popping that in and out so you can know when it's on and when it's not. And then I'll explain how I got there. So let's play it right now. I'm going to pop it in and out. Pay attention. Headphones, preferably. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I was some songs about Tina, but she wasn't a match, no. Wrote some songs about Jenny, but I caught up with my gay. Funny, had a good man, was wrong with you? Wasn't that enough to keep it real? Yeah, never got the answers to your problems. Yeah, that's why I never showed up to your class. We never doing anything that I say. How you name my ass? How about you act Beyonce? Next, I'm way too invested. James Harden, step back, whoa. You can do that, why is she out of bounds? She really thinks she can... Got you, so you heard that. You hear a huge difference when I pop that mute on and off. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. So guys, you literally need no plugins to do this right here. What I did was this. On the track that my vocals are on, that all the plugins and the mix of the vocal is, I use an aux. And I won't get too crazy into the routing of the auxes and stuff like that. I'm gonna assume that in your DAW, you know how to route a, butt, a bus to a aux. Basically, this is what you do when you do your reverbs, your delays, you're routing that bus to the aux. I'm pretty sure you know how to do it. If you don't, then I suggest you can read into it a little bit more. But for my people that already know how to route busing and auxes, this is what we did. So what I did was I created two buses on my vocal track that the audio was on. I took one bus, bus 17, routed that to a bus right here, routed that to an aux, which is the input of this aux, as you can see, is 17. So that means that this vocal, a copy of my lead vocal, is being sent out to this bus right here. And what I did was I turned it all the way to the left. So I panned the copy of the vocal all the way to the left. So that means that there's a copy of my lead vocal all the way to the left side. Then I created another bus. The input of this bus is bus 19. Went to my lead vocal and routed a aux out to bus 19. This time, I took that vocal and turned it all the way to the right. I panned it all the way to the right. So now what's happening is I have two copies of my vocal, my lead vocal, which is up the middle. I have one copy bust all, excuse me, I have one copy panned all the way to the left and I have another copy bust all the way, excuse me, panned all the way to the right. So now you have two vocals here on the sides and you have one that's dead up in the middle. And when you combine those two together, you get a wider, thicker vocal. What I do is I blend it to taste and show it. So now I'm gonna play it solo so you can get an idea of what it sounds and I'll pop it in and out and you can hear the effect. Okay, so pay attention. Yeah, yeah. I wrote some songs about Tina, but she wasn't a match, no. Wrote some songs about Jenny. But I caught up with my gay Funny, had a good man, what's wrong with you? Was it not enough to keep it real? Yeah, never got the answers to your problems, yeah And it sounds so much better, that took no plugins That was literally something super simple that anyone could do in a DAW All I did was, took my lead vocal, made two copies of it And paired one to the hard right, one hard left Another way you could do it is You could literally take that lead vocal track Make two more, duplicate that one track Pan one to the right, pan one to the left. This is just another way to do it without actually using the audio or without actually copying the audio. But if you wanted to, you can literally just make two more tracks, basically duplicating the lead vocal, pan one left, pan one right, and then blend it to taste. Now when I say blend it to taste, I'm talking about taking the fader and blending it until you find a nice, comfortable spot. So for instance, my comfortable spot was 19.3. So let's turn it all the way down, let me play it, and then I'll blend it to taste. I over-exaggerate it too so you can get it. Yeah, yeah, 
I wrote some songs about Tina, but she wasn't a match, no. Wrote some songs about Jenny, but I caught her with my gay. Funny, had a good man, what's wrong with you? Was it not enough to keep it real? Yeah. So the sweet spot I found was about 19, negative 19.3, and you can hear the difference. Guys, the vocal literally gets wider, it gets thicker. It's such a great technique, and I suggest you guys do it when you're kind of fighting with getting that vocal to stand out a little more. I can hear the cadence in the voice a little more. Great technique, super simple, no plugins required. So that was a super simple vocal technique that I've recently been doing on a lot of my vocals. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you follow us on the Instagram at HelpMeDevon. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you think about the video below. Give me some new ideas as far as what you want to see from me. And I hope to see you guys next time.